Okay, we're back. Um, this is Amin Moja Ra with uh, the Web App Company, Imagination Everywhere, and the Ria Institute. <coughs> um, at the end of the last video, we had a problem with committing the code and uh, syncing up with the repository. And because I don't want anybody to uh, have any illusions or or have any problems with uh, with uh, 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 with Subversion in AppTab in the studio, what I did is I went ahead and deleted the uh, repository and just recreated the Imagination Everywhere repository. So I'm going to take you within AppTab Studio step by step and go ahead and show you how to first of all put in a uh, link yourself, link um, AppTana Studio with your Subversion uh, repository, and then commit, you know, download the code from your website or from wherever you're getting your code and committing it, and then making changes and synchroni synchronizing it, updating it. We're going to do all that. So let's begin. So, first and foremost, um, remember in the last video, we had installed uh, the Eclipse Subversive uh, plugin and then the actual subversion clients within uh, Eclipse and once that happens you are able to go and you'll receive a new perspective called uh, SVN uh, repository exploring so that's the perspective that I'm in right now and I'm gonna go ahead and add my repository so it is asking for a URL and a custom or I'm gonna put a custom label called um, imagination everywhere And remember this I had to do this because I um, messed up on a video well a video didn't properly render so um, you know that's what caused me all the problems at the end of the last video so um, I'm putting in my username and my password uh, which is and the URL for to link to the repository is right here so I just and let me zoom in to show you. You know, it's the unphoto um, URL. Let me go back. And all we do is paste that in there. And we just go ahead and finish. Bam. So we have the connection to the SVN repository. Uh, we have the root, no, no revisions. So now let's go back and go to team synchronizing that let's go to that per perspective let's go ahead and add a new project and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a project from SVN so um, click next this is the URL that we just pasted in click next click finished and we're gonna call this imagination imagination underscore every every where hit next hit finished okay so now the project is linked um, the web app company is linked um, to the the, pr the project is linked to the subversion um, repository so if I want to um, go ahead and uh, bring in some um, files um, if I want to go ahead and do that we can do that from uh, uh, we can do that uh, from the uh, from my uh, remote website so what I would have to do is I would have to add a connection so let's go ahead and add a new connection and we're gonna call this imagination everywhere also because that's where I'm gonna be adding them from so new um, imagination every my user 
username in here remember now I'm linking to my website so you can you can get your files from many places from a hard disk from a, a portable hard disk okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I linked it to so here we are we're connecting to my FTP server so that connection was uh, was successful I'm applying it hit OK okay so what I want to do is now as you see under this deploy um, under this deploy option you have what's called transfer files so let's go ahead and transfer some files um, as you can see we don't have anything in the folder uh, but it is going out to my FTP server right here. Let me zoom in and show you. It's going out into my FTP server um, with with the just the FTP information I just put in. Boom. So there are my files. So what I want to do is I don't want to transfer all these files because that would take some time. I want to be able to show you what 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 happened. So let's go ahead and take the prototype files, which actually is the uh, part of the site that I build always with my um, websites first before I actually put it into the root of the folder so uh, transfer over to pro proto transfer the prototype folder over uh, so that's gonna transfer over and once once this information um, transfers over um, what I'm able to do is I'm gonna commit this to my repository so uh, we have uh, 12 items tra transferred seven uh, folders created and as you can see there's the prototype folder it's created so now as you can see is the prototype view is there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right click team and usually if the files are already in the repository and we're just making changes um, I can just synchronize it but I have to commit it since this is the first time that I'm, com um, I'm placing them in the repository now you could either do it by clicking on the file over here or click and populate actually what we can do is click and then we can s click on the project right over here the imagination everywhere project right click go down the team and then we're going to sync it with repository and as you can see none of the files have been committed so we're going to commit all these files except for the project file so we're going to right click commit and I'm going to scroll down and I'm not going to commit the project file so where's the project file at so I'm gonna uncheck the project file the project file is just for Aptana studio purposes now you would commit it if you're gonna be using other computers and you wanna be able to have the same environment dimensions and all that with your project on, a, on another com computer so let's write a comment this is the first commit to the repository uh, for the imagination every where project so we got that uh, I think I spelled imagination wrong I am a imagination okay we got that spelled right and then we go ahead and commit So it's committing the files to the repository. Now these files on my hard drive, if I right click and hit space, they're saved in the Aptana Studio workspace. So I just wanted to show you where on your hard drive they're being saved. So now they're committed to the repository. So if we go back to the browser, and we refresh this page 
boom there they are click on the folder here they are if you wanted to see the contents of the file here are the contents of the files that it, that it shows you if you wanted to go into a folder you can go into a folder like uh, say the CSS folder and there's the main.css and here's the reset file okay so now what if we want to make some changes to to the file because this is what source control is all about um, so let's say we want to make a change to the index.html file and we want to say bam here it is uh, let's just do a comment dash dash this is a change to the file dot 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 arrow that's a comment so so we've made a change so down here in your synchronized uh, uh, view you see that it automatically picked up that you made a change to the file so what we have to do is um it's always good to go ahead and right click on your project and go to team and um, you know update it make sure that there's nothing nobody else is making any changes to the project or anything like that and then what you want to do is also to be safe synchronize it with the repository and so um, down here if you have this little bar that tells you you have two two um, outgoing uh, files that you want to commit to the pro um, repository no conflicts if if you did you'd have a number by that red red uh, arrow or no incoming um, changes nobody else is committing anything to this particular uh, repository so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, right click on the actual file hit commit say this is a change to the index file and then go ahead and click OK boom so if I go back and I refresh the page boom so now you have a revision to and it doesn't tell it doesn't give you numbers or anything like that but if you go back to app Tana studio and we we go ahead and right click and refresh the project you see next to the index file there's a there's another version so if we click on that and we say we want to show the history of it say so uh, show history we can see that there's two versions of that there's the first version right here and th the current version where this is the change to the file so if I want to compare uh, if I want to compare this with the version 1 just right click and hit compare and bam so now I can see the actual change to the file which is this right here it actually shows me that I inserted this line of code so um, you know it links it and you know this is what um, version control is so if I had a list of different files that I've changed it would show me all the versions of that file and so if I wanted if I can, I can close this out so if I wanted the original file to be my top level file all I'd have to do is just right click on it and I can just say update to and say yes and now that file is my top level file uh, the original file that I had so but I you know that really doesn't matter um, so um, since I didn't really make any big changes or anything like that so this is this is a uh, subversion this is how a uh, subversion works so I'm happy that you guys are watching this series and um, we're gonna get back and show you how to get a little bit more in depth in Windows when it comes to Tortoise SVN and committing more than just uh, website files and stuff like that if you want to use your subversion repository for more than just uh, just uh, uh, the website so uh, thank you for watching this video and we look forward to um, seeing you in the next one alrighty